Good morning, church family. The book of Philippians is a letter that Paul writes to the church in a region in which he is encouraging, directing, and instructing these new Christians on what it looks like to be a Christian, what their lives should look like day to day, that they have now called Christ their king. In the second chapter, he begins by informing and reminding these Christians that to be a Christian is to put aside selfish gain, to instead of thinking primarily of what's in it for me, to consider others more important than yourself. Then he gives us the ultimate example of that, that Jesus came, he died, he poured himself out on our behalf because of his great love for us. He then follows with these two verses that I want to share with you today. We're in Philippians chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. It says this, Do all things without grumbling or disputing, so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent, children of God above reproach, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you appear as lights in the world. Paul's instruction to the church is always so rich in truth, and we could spend a long time looking at a lot of things in this passage, but we're just going to be focusing on a couple of themes here. First, let me point out the fact that that word grumbling that Paul uses is, in fact, what it sounds like. Grumbling is simply complaining to those around you uh, of the circumstances that are negatively impacting you, or even having just an attitude and this grumbling under your breath um, of feeling some sort of injustice because of things that are happening to you and primarily focusing on that and then voicing it. Um, and Paul talks about the danger of that on our Christian witness. He talks about how we as Christians are to be a light amongst what he calls a crooked and perverse generation. That to look different amongst the people around us, we are to be a light, we are to represent Christ. And so we have to know what Christ look like. And Paul just reminded us of that just a few verses prior when he said that Christ gave up himself, his own life, on behalf of others. Out of his love for us, he gave his own life. He died. And so uh, Christ is our perfect primary example of what it looks like to be focused on others. In addition to that, now that we have Christ as king, as Christians, we have this greater hope that surpasses the things that are around us. And it should be the louder thing coming out of our mouths, both in word and in action. If someone to look into your life, do they see more loudly your concern with the way things are affecting you now or your greater hope in Christ? And that's what it looks like to be the light in the world that, that Paul is talking about. So I wanna encourage you and challenge you today. As I look around to fellow Christians and the way they are responding to the many negative, terrible things that are uh, happening in the world right now, to be honest, I see a lot of complaining. And we're all in this boat together. There's a lot to complain about. We can complain about things that we have to do. We can complain about the people that complain about things that they have to do. There's different sides of the camp and we all fall in different places, uh, but regardless, what we should not be hearing so much among us Christians is a bunch of complaining. And so to be different and to be this light that Paul is talking about, I want to challenge you to curb your complaining. Take a look at the way that you're responding to things. Are you complaining a lot? Are you being negative in the way that you're speaking to the people around you? Even to the people closest to you, your family and your friends. Are you a person that if someone looked from the outside in, they'd say, oh, that person is primarily focused on the hope that they have in God? Or are you a complainer? Have you been con continually griping about the things that you see around you and the way that they're impacting you personally? So I want to pray for us uh, and remind you that this is something that you can be in prayer for uh, all of the time. Bring those uh, concerns, those feelings of injustice and, and the pain that you carry around with you to God and give those things to him in prayer and ask him to help you to maintain a tone of hope among this generation, these people, your, your community that maybe doesn't have that hope and that light in their lives 
and you will stand out as something different and people will want to know what it is that's different about you. At the same time, you'll encourage those who, who do have a faith in Christ. Maybe they have fallen into a place of complaining and really focusing on the negative things. Ask God to help you to be that example, to be that light among your friends, your family, and all those around you. Let me pray for us today. Lord, thank you uh, for this passage that's just so incredibly relevant um, for us today. We all look around and see uh, so much negative in the world, and it's so easy for each of us to just get into that routine of complaining, of grumbling about it. Uh, we wake up and we think about, oh, it's another day uh, in lockdown, it's another day where I have to do this or that, or I don't get to do this or that, and the tone in our minds begins immediately, God. Help us to stay focused on the hope and truth uh, that we find in Christ that we are your children, that we will one day see you face to face. And that is so much greater uh, than all of the little things that we are experiencing today, God. Encourage us, build us up, help us stay very close to you in this time. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.